So this is the entrance of the church yeah so this is where we hang our coats uh, especially during winter uh, you can put your coats there the umbrellas yeah so these are some of the offices of the church so we have our main i want to show you a very important room here this room is called mother's room mother's room this is actually where uh, those mothers with small kids they can come and change them they can come and nurse them here so this room is a very important room and i really like it because it connects to the main sanctuary as you can see uh, it enables you to follow up. Uh, we have a speaker here. That is the speaker. And it allows the sound from the main sanctuary to be controlled through this knob here. So you can be able to follow up the service while inside that room. And this is the main sanctuary. As you can see, the main sanctuary is quite a large one. So we have... Uh, a good capacity can hold a good capacity of people again i had shown you the loom where we have our mothers you can see there is a very big grass that enables you to follow up with what is happening inside the sanctuary so this is our main sanctuary and we have our big keyboard over there we have uh, we have uh, microphone studs, we have good layout, and quite a good layout, see? Very nice color of seats, yeah? And maybe a portion that I would like to show you is we do have baptism once in a while, and we have the pool over there. This is the pool where baptism takes place. Yeah, baptism takes place over here. And it's light in front of the sanctuary, kind of the front part of the sanctuary. Right now, I'm, I'm, I'm at the front part of the sanctuary. And you can see how the layout of the church is. It's cute. It's good. Oh, I love the church layout. Uh, uh, if you can see that dark, the one I'm zooming in, the dark window there, that's where we usually have the uh, the technology control, uh, the audio system of the church. Yeah. And then we have the mother's room over there so you can be able to follow up with what is happening inside the sanctuary so that you don't miss a lot you don't miss a lot look at that so this is quite a good layout quite a good layout mm. so we have very nice we have a fellowship hall we have a fellowship hall this is a fellowship hall as you can see this is where we usually have meals uh once in a while we usually have meals here, fellowship hall. Uh, if we have a function that we don't want to perform it inside the main sanctuary, this is where we come. And this is the sanctuary or the fellowship hall. The fellowship hall is actually connected with the kitchen, uh, kitchen side. If you can see, this is the kitchen, uh, the church kitchen. So... Uh, kitchen and the fellowship is connected so this is our sanctuary it's a beautiful 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 place and we enjoy every time we are here we're so blessed every sabbath we come and we feel so blessed so blessed 
so that's it as you can see once you well you come in that is where you welcome and then uh, this is the outside of the church it is beautiful 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 God. very nice the trees are changing colors the only tree that does not really change color is the evergreen this tree here is the evergreen tree it does not change it does not wither leaves but all the other trees uh, change colors and the reefs change colors and then we have all leaves withering. As you can see, a very good tree here. It was very, very beautiful over the summer, but now all the reefs are down and it is preparing itself for the winter season. So the trees will be mostly looking like that. Hmm, look at that. So the evergreen trees, they always remain green. They don't wither at all.